think that uh, to describe al-Shabaab as imploding is probably overstating it. Uh, they were pushed out of their last strongholds out of their last cities a couple of years ago, uh, but they still hold sway in large parts of the countryside in the south of Somalia, and that support has not gone away. So I, I think implosion is an exaggeration. Sure. Uh, and the hardliners are indeed in the ascendancy. This is led by uh, uh, Godani, is the name of the leader of the, the hardline faction. He's really been uh, in the ascendancy uh, for two years at least now. Um, the moderates have been on the back foot. So um, what we have to hope is going to happen in Somalia is that there is some kind of dialogue, I think, with the moderate or the relative moderate wing of, of al-Shabaab between them and the Somali government. Uh, we need to try and find ways to make sure they win their arguments uh, with, and perhaps bring them back into the fold. But within, within Somalia, though, Shabab is... Al Shabaab is ex extremely unpopular, isn't it? You, I mean, you've written and you've been there, and you say they turned the country into what you call a zone of total grief. Well, that's true. When it's when where the fighting is, that's absolutely true. But you have to remember that Somalis themselves, they are they've had twenty years of civil war, and the one thing that Al Shabaab did do in the parts that they controlled was to bring a sense of law and order. I know it sounds very strange, but actually, if you've had twenty years of civil war. Uh, you may choose the law and order that al-Shabaab represent over the complete lawlessness of the parts of the country that they don't, uh, they don't control. Uh, and in that, that sense, they're very, they're very like the Taliban, in fact. And that was the appeal to Afghans and the Taliban. They, you might not like what they did and the, 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 the ideology they represented, but they did re represent law and order, and that is very important to Somalis sick of war. Something which you wrote which I found particularly interesting, you say that al-Shabaab even manipulated the promise of 72 virgins for those who die as martyrs. Can you explain that? Yeah, an absolutely shocking story. I mean, remember that the recruits to Al-Shabaab are very young. And Al-Shabaab means the youth. It is a youth movement. And a lot of the foot soldiers are typically 15 years old. They're school kids. They're pulled out of, uh, well, they would be school kids if they were going to school. They know absolutely nothing at all. Uh, and one of the tricks used by the recruiters, uh, some, some kids were shown some, uh, footage of a Bollywood movie and told that this was real footage uh, sent down by past martyrs for the cause from paradise. And they were saying, if you two uh, go into a, a martyrs operation uh, and die for al-Shabaab, this is what you're going to get. They were being showed a Bollywood movie. And so that shows you how unbelievably naive uh, the recruits themselves are, uh, but also how cynical the recruiters are. Is this just a regional issue for, for this part of Africa, or can al-Shabaab either now or, or in, in the future strike beyond Kenya, beyond Somalia? Could, could they hit the United States? Can they hit Europe? Is that possible? The great danger of al-Shabaab is that, well, it, it, it's because it's the nature of, of Somalia and its diaspora. Uh, I think it's true to say there are something like 10 million Somalis in the world. Two million of those live abroad. And this is a function of the civil war. Enormous numbers of refugees left the country uh, from the early 1990s. And so there are... Uh, really very big Somali populations uh, in the US and Canada and Australia and in Europe, particularly Scandinavia, particularly Britain. And all of those places uh, have, well, they will have a small proportion, very small proportion of people who may be sympathetic to al-Shabaab. That is their great strength. They can draw recruits from abroad, and they, they have done so, and we've seen that with this Westgate attack, we think. Uh, and that is, that is the back door into the West.